Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a super quick video on how you can add a basic slider to your interface. This is a takeoff on a video I just did on what I called an update to the Ultimate UI custom widget. The code is straight out of this tutorial, the code that I'm modifying for this project. So I'll leave a link to that in the description. So all I have is a verse device and a mutator zone. I have the verse device paired to the mutator zone. So we're just gonna go ahead and look at this code. This is exactly the same code as in the tutorial in the description, except I've modified a few things. So I've highlighted where I've made changes. So, so the first thing we do is we create a variable called my UI slider, and it's gonna be a slider underscore regular. We go ahead and bring that into existence. After that, we're gonna create a function it doesn't accept any parameters in and it returns nothing and it's called print value parentheses void we can go my ui slider dot get value and assign that to this variable my value and then all we've done is create a custom print string here and put my value in it the custom print string is right down here on the bottom and you don't have to set this down here you could set this up here but i'm just setting it here but on the slider you can set a min value and a max value. So we have my UI slider dot set max value to 500 or whatever you want in there. And then we set the min value as zero. Before I had an image that was popping up and I just deleted that line of code. And instead of having an image display, I'm replacing that image with the slider. So now what I'm doing is I just put my UI slider here as my widget and I leave the location and everything the same as what I had for the image. So that's all the same as that other tutorial. So basically I'm just swapping out the slider for the image, essentially. So any references to the image, if they're still in here, just delete those. So this is kind of the top half of the code here. And then this is the, the bottom half. And then down here on button pressed, we just make a function call to our print value up here. So what'll happen is I'll be in the scene and then I'll trigger the button to come on and the slider will come on. I can set the value on the slider and then when I press the button, it goes away. So I think this has some basic practical applications if you want the player to be able to input a specific value for something. So I think it has a lot of potential. So anyway, let's take a look at what this looks like. We'll just go here and start the game. So there's the mutator zone. I come over here and then the slider pops up and it can click and drag it and see it goes up to 500, but you can adjust that range. And then let's say I put it at 375 and then watch, I'll go set value and you'll see it printed out the string over there in the left corner. So I'm still exploring the functionality of the slider. There's some things on it that I'm having some issues with, but this is at least gets you started with it. So I hope you find this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.